YouTube, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video, and again, I'm not going to make this video long at all, but I got to come at my fellas again, and I got to put it down to y'all, man, because listen, a lot of us will do better if we just know, if we if we just know, like, like if we would have been taught this when we was younger and coming up, maybe we'll be better, but I'm here just to give y'all the raw dog truth, and I'm going to let you know like this, fellas, listen, stop being thirsty, man, stop being thirsty, all right, get out that woman inbox, Stop chasing that woman. Hold your seed. Retain. Get on your purpose. Chase your goals. Chase your hobbies. Enjoy yourself in life. Enjoy being your own best company. You understand what I'm saying? See, these days, a lot of women, they, they need to be led. They need to be led in the right direction. And who's better to do that than a, than a true man, a true leader, a true protector, a true provider? Someone who's there, who's here now out here just chasing women just for sex, just, just for validation, you know, learn how to be your own best company. Get out her inbox. Stop chasing that woman, man. Have some standards. You know what I mean? Understand this, man. God said that he created man in his image and his likeness, right? And God even told us, he said to choose this day whom ye will serve. He said, choose this day. So when he said choose, that means he gave us all a choice. Nothing is forced upon us. You understand? So when it's all said and done, man, stop chasing these women. Have some standards for yourself. Hold that seed, man. You know, if I can go back and have a conversation with my 12, 13-year-old self, I would talk to myself about these, about, about, about these, you know, true life situations, about dealing with women. About, about just dealing, you know, in life in general, you know, a lot of us are selling ourselves short, we're getting caught up in the matrix, we're getting caught up with the Jezebel spirit, you know, you got to understand, I'm a family man, I'm all about building family, I'm about the husband, I'm about the wife, I'm about the children, yes, I'm about that life, I have a daughter, you know what I'm saying, like I say, in, in one of my other videos, I did things out, out of, you know, out of order back in my younger years, you know what I'm saying? But that's one of the best feelings that a man can have is raising his child, raising a family. That's a beautiful feeling. You know, no real woman is not going to respect you if you're out here not really putting value and respecting yourself. You know, a lot of men out here, like we all, you know, screaming, yo, we want to be respected. We want to be respected, but we're not doing nothing to be respected. We're not out here building nothing. You know, we have, we have nothing, nothing to go back to, nothing to fall back on. You know, we're, we're so dependent on a job. We're so dependent on somebody else telling us what to do instead of you creating your own, instead of you creating your own way. You understand me? You got to have a vision. You got to be willing to put this work in. You know what I mean? That's what the Bible says. It says faith without works is dead. You got to put that work in. You know, you want to have these Jezebels out here, out here posting selfies. One, you know, just for your attention, just for your validation. Just so you can hit the like button, jump in the inbox, you know, trying to trying to spit, you know, you know, you know, shoot your shot, spit your game. You know what I mean? Lo and behold, that woman got about 30, 40 other men already doing the same thing you're doing. The thing that's gonna set us men apart, man, is by us really, really, really having having an establishment, having something to stand on. You know? You cannot call yourself a real man, a real alpha man, if you don't have other men respecting you. Other leaders looking up to you or just coming to you, conversating with you. You know what I mean? You got to put yourself in a position where you are a leader, not a follower. Right? And let me say this too, right? Yes, in order to be a good leader, you got to be a follower. But there comes a time where you got we gotta, to we gotta basically untuck your nuts and you got to go out there and be a leader for yourself, for your family. You know? And I had a conversation a few weeks ago with a friend of mine and we was talking and I told her basically, you know, the difference between a good man and a nice guy. Yes, there, there's a big difference. You got so many men out here that's trying to be nice guys. What is a nice guy? A nice guy is someone to do something for someone else, specifically a woman, just to get her validation and, and, and try to seek something in return. All right. Versus a good man, a good man is going to do it just because he either want to do it or he don't want to do it. And he's not doing it for no validation. He's not doing it to be accepted. He's doing it because just just in his heart to do it. I'm going to give you an example. Right. Like, you know, a movie just came out, you know, the Immortals. You know, I'm a, I'm a Marvel guy. I like Marvel movies. Right. 
Say if I want to go to the movies and, and see the Immortals, I'm going to go regardless. Now I can ask, you know, you know, the young lady, yo, you want to go to the movies with me? Yeah, I'm about to go see the Immortals. You want to rock out with me? Go grab something to eat? I got you. It's on me. I'm doing it without no expectations. I'm doing it just because. Versus a nice guy, he going to try to ask this woman, I want to go see the Immortals, but he going to ask this woman, hey, you want to go to the movies? You know, what would you like to go see? We can see whatever you want to see, right? And in his little head, he, he got some, some expectation for a return. He's not doing it because he want to do it. He's doing it because he got an expectation to get inside them panties. Or he's doing an expectation to try to use that woman to manipulate that woman. He's doing something to try to get something in return instead of doing it because he want to do it. You know what I'm saying? Good man versus nice guy. Right? Be that good man. But before you can be a good man to anybody else, you got to be your own best company. You got to be a good man for yourself. Don't be out here chasing. Don't be out here just letting out your seed on any old thing. Have some standards, man. Learn how to put women in, in a friend zone. You know what I'm saying? Friend zone these women, man. You got to really scale these women. You know, you got to really get to know what you're dealing with. Right? Because it's not about who you're dealing with. It's what you're dealing with. Everybody got a spirit inside them. Just because you got a nice butt, nice set of breasts, you dig what I'm saying? There's something inside that body that you don't see. But the only way you're going to see it, first and foremost, like I said, I'm a true believer in the spiritual world. I'm, I'm a true believer in my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So, yes, before I deal with anyone on any level, I put it in prayer first. And I, and I strive to be led by the spirit, right? So when you deal with people out here, man, you got to put it in prayer first. And don't just listen to words being said. Look at their action. You know what I mean? Look at look at look at the fruit that's being displayed. You know, it's always a what you're dealing with. You know, I'm telling you right now, man. Hold your seat, be strong, stand strong, man. You know what I mean? Don't 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 fall victim to what society is teaching you, right? There's a lot of agendas going on where masculinity is basically being destroyed. It's being destroyed. You know, and I'm not going to get specific on that topic. But y'all know what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? There's so many different agendas out here, man. Man, stay stay being a man. Don't let nobody take away your manhood from you. You know what I'm saying? A woman will choose you if you're on your purpose. If you got a passion, if y'all here chasing something besides her. You know what I mean? Yes, pursue. Like I said, I'm a family man, man and woman. You know what I mean? Let's get together. Let's strive to do it righteously. Right? Be a leader, man. Be a protector. Be a guide. But before you can lead anybody else, you got to learn how to lead yourself first, man. Seam of retention holds your strength. Let the nutrients gather beside your body. Let it go to your mind. You know what I'm saying? Let that dopamine, man, take you to a whole nother level in life, man. But hold that seed, man. You watch the fruits that will come from that, all right? And so next video, man, I'm going to get with y'all. Peace.